Well, it's time to find out if I'm a complete idiot. For those of you who've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I've been having a bit of an issue with crankcase pressure on our 2013 Mitsubishi Fuso FG. Here's the two first videos of me trying to figure it out. I started with chasing down codes, trying to find out if there was an issue with a sensor, check the wiring, and I had a couple comments asking if I changed the PCV filter. Well, my response was yes, I've changed the PCV filter. Here's the video I made when I did it. If you've been following the channel for long enough, you'll remember I've had two of these trucks. I bought them both at the same time, they both look the same, they're both the same year. And I just checked my parts stash and it turns out there's a brand new PCV filter in my parts stash. Which means I've not changed the PCV filter on this truck, I changed it on the other one. Let's find out if that is what's causing the problem. Filter. Seal. O-ring. New clip. Let's go have some fun. Probably quicker to just go watch the other video that I already did. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. For those of you struggling with removing this filter because it's not easy, I've just invented a special service tool. I have no idea what they actually use, but a bent piece of TIG rod in a pair of ice grip pliers makes this process a whole lot easier. Let me show you. So previously in my videos, I've been using what I call Kelly clamps to grab the little ribs in the filter and pull it out. And it's extremely difficult because there's very little area to grab and it takes a while. So this time what I've done is I've created this little bent piece of uh, TIG rod and literally slide it down beside the filter, rotate it so that it's hooking into the filter and give it a wiggle and out comes the filter. A thousand times easier, make your own special service tools. Time to see if it worked. Did I use that clip somewhere before? I, I don't know. Also went in and cleared the codes prior to doing this. There we have it. Looks like there's nothing wrong with the truck. Just the guy trying to fix it. Well, I guess that one's all my fault. I didn't change the PCV filter when I thought I did. I changed on a different truck. So I guess when the truck tells you there's a problem, you should probably start with the thing that should be the problem and not try and make an assumption that there's something wrong with the truck. Thanks for watching. Stick around. There's lots more to come. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Throw a comment down below to say how dumb I am, and we'll see you next time.